Trinity Lutheran Church, happy anniversary, 150 years. Thanks be to God. I'm Pastor Eric Carlson, and I had the amazing honor to serve as associate pastor at Trinity Lutheran from 1993 to 1996. Uh, I currently serve Faith Lutheran Church in Clive, Iowa. I'm married to Beth. We've been married for almost 24 years now. And we have two growing up children. Uh, Greta is a senior at Luther College. She is uh, going into the field of psychology. And Ben is a junior at Iowa State. He is uh, majoring in music education and is hoping to be a band director. Uh, so that's our family. And uh, I just need to, I was invited to share some stories or memories, but there are too many. And some of them are way too long to share in this brief video. But I am always grateful for the colleagues who I had the opportunity to walk alongside with in doing ministry. And in my role at that time, uh, it was really focused in, in children and youth um, ministry. So Susan Schlitter, my goodness, we would sit in each other's office and dream and scheme about the, the next new thing. Marcy Colvin and so many other adults who had the passion and the dedication to make sure our youth, our young people, had opportunities to grow in their faith and simply have a lot of fun together. So there are things like the ELC Youth Gathering uh, to Atlanta, which was the first time I served as, as a, a leader to a youth gathering, and what a phenomenal time. Uh, boundary water trips, and, but most importantly, just the day-to-day, -day, the day-to-day, -day, walking alongside, working together, being about the mission that God had given us then, and of course, it's the same mission that God gives you all now as you move into the next chapter of Trinity Lutheran Church. So my prayer for you all is a prayer of thanksgiving and a prayer of blessing that uh, God's Holy Spirit continues to blow in and through those hallways and sanctuary and offices, much of which I understand has been remodeled since I've been there. I'm anxious to see it someday. And, uh, and continues to, most importantly, blow in and through the people, God's people, named and claimed children of God, to be about making a difference in the world in the name of Jesus. So with all of that and so much more from the Carlsons, happy anniversary. God bless you all. In 1978, I was pastor at Little Nazareth Lutheran Church in Cambridge, Iowa, which is down by Ames. Some Iowa State University students are familiar with it. One Sunday, three strange men showed up in church. Two of them were Carol Kassler and Gary Lindgren. I knew they were a call committee turned out to be from Trinity, looking for a replacement for Pastor Chuck Solberg. Laverne R. Hansen was the senior pastor at that time, and he had already been here 19 years. He was an institution in himself. And he had followed two other legendary pastors in the church, Alvin Ragnus, who was here when this building was built and later became a professor and president of Luther Seminary in St. Paul, and Roy Harrisville was pastor here in the 1950s between Ragnus and Hansen. He called himself the water boy between halves. He also later became a professor at Luther Seminary. Trinity had rock star pastors in the past. Dorothy Mayfield was secretary, along with Joyce Sabin on nights and weekends. Larry Coleman was the education director, and Al Gable was the custodian. Seven years, my main jobs were new members and confirmation. Secretary Joyce Sabin's day job was at Interstate Power Company. She would give me a list of all the new residential electric meters on Saturday morning, and I would spend the day visiting those homes and inviting people to church. State Farm Insurance agent Alan Dodge would call me and tell me of people who were new in town from his State Farm Insurance contacts. My church in Cambridge had 206 members. When I moved here the first year, we re coincidentally received 206 new members in the first year. 
The other big job was confirmation class. In those years, we had between 55 and 70 children in each of three classes, 7th, 8th, and ninth grades. So I had six sections of confirmation. I only preached when Laverne was on vacation, so about six times a year. But I did Lenten services. One year, I was doing monologues of biblical characters, and we had a Vietnamese refugee in those years, um, Sin Pra Song Phan Domaly. He attended Lenten service and drew this picture of me on a grocery sack. I thought it was so cool I had it framed. I really got good at liturgy. Services, of course, were Saturday night and three on Sunday morning. We went a full hour, but not a second more. When this service was over, we would sing sometimes only one verse of the closing hymn. I won't tell you about the backyard parties we had that were good social church events, but I will mention Curcio retreats. We held at Waldorf College, three-day retreat for men and another weekend for women. These were formative renewals for many in my generation. 1984, after seven years at Trinity, Laverne Hansen retired, and I accepted a call to Bethany Lutheran Church in Spencer, where we lived 28 years, returned here to Mason City in 2012 for retirement. Thanks. I'm Arnie Bergman, and I served as one of the associate pastors from 1996 to early in 2000. My family and I have so many fond memories of Trinity and of Mason City. To this day in August, we yearn to sit on the wall alongside Bert Sauls and eat peach ice cream. Nobody does it better. At some point in my ministry, I began to float the idea of a summer outdoor worship service in the courtyard. Many times I heard that'll never work. Well, Trinity is a Lutheran congregation after all, and you know what they say about Lutherans and change. At the time, worship at Trinity was very traditional. It featured an exceptional traditional music program. The idea of a contemporary worship option with drums and guitars, it, well, it just wasn't, it wasn't getting much traction. But we persevered. The youth group had a basic sound system. We found a drummer and a bass player and our, our music director played keyboard. A number of people sang vocals and I played guitar and occasionally a very bad banjo. We bought a tent to keep the band out of the rain. By the way, that never happened, it never rained. There was a parishioner who was really excited about what we had planned. He was also looking for a memorial for his wife who had recently passed away. He asked what he could do to help. I said that I was a bit embarrassed to ask, but what I needed was $500 to buy a snake. Now a snake is a cable that connects all the sound equipment together. When he found out what it was, he smiled. He said, I'll buy a snake for my wife. Well, we invited people to bring lawn chairs and sit out in the courtyard and, and to all of our surprise, it worked. It was really something of a home run. So it's really fun for me to see now that that worship service is still working after all these years. I could go on with all sorts of stories of all the adventures and misadventures with Marcy Colvin and Susan Schlitter, as well as the team of Pastor Chris and Pastor Jack. I better not. Thanks for inviting Susan and I, and congratulations on your 150 years of sharing the gospel with North Iowa and beyond. May God continue to bless Trinity Lutheran as it seeks to serve. Congratulations, Trinity friends, for 150 years of mission and ministry in Mason City, Iowa. I'm Pastor Travis Fisher, speaking from St. Mark Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa, where I currently serve. 
What a joy it was to be with you as an associate pastor beginning in the summer of 2002. As you celebrate 150 years on Reformation Sunday, it reminds me of one of the fond moments that I had at Trinity. On Reformation that year, under the direction of Marcy Colvin, the youth director, we put on a skit with the kids, with the youth, and I was Martin Luther. We had so much fun and so many laughs putting on the skit for each of the services that weekend. We look forward to the time in which all of us can embrace reformation and change and for all of us to be inclusive of all of God's children. So as we continue in mission and ministry together, spreading the gospel and loving each other, I thank God for the mission and ministry that is shared. For the time of 150 years of mission and ministry in Mason City, Iowa, as well as the gift that God has given us through Jesus Christ. And the way that Martin Luther has showed us that we are constantly changing. In a day that is full of hate, let us remember Christ's love of all people. Blessings to you as you continue your mission and ministry. And may God bless each and every one of you. Enjoy the day. And again, congratulations on 150 years. God bless you. Hello, Trinity Lutheran Church. This is Pastor Steve Palo from Ascension Lutheran Church in Brookings, South Dakota. It's wonderful to be with you, and I give you my greetings. I have so many fond memories of the servant church, especially the staff serving with Jim and Kathy, with Pam and Jane and uh, Marty and Marcy and Brad and all of them. And I understand you have just a fantastic staff right now, so I give thanks for the Servant Church continuing that uh, tradition of calling great staff. But what, who I really want to remember today is a guy I met one day when we were having an outdoor worship service and we were singing All Are Welcome. And this is the guy who showed up, Cleo Willis. And I call him my brother, he is my teacher, of who Christ is, and I will never forget how you created a space and a place for him to come and worship and to be accepted. And then, one day, I baptized him. It was the five o'clock service, and I'll never forget it. He came, and you know, I was supposed to tell him how he was supposed to behave. You could never tell, you could never tell Cleo how to behave. And uh, he came. He cried into the font, and I baptized him in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And he became a part of the body and never forgotten. And when he died, he had this medallion, this baptismal medallion that he was supposed to put up on a shelf and forget about. But he wore it all around town and everywhere. I remember it clinking against the communion um, cups and everything that we were given out. But he was a wonderful advocate that baptism calls all. And so, folks, I remember Cleo Willis. I remember the servant church that accepts all, that welcomes all, and that says that all are welcome. And so, thank you for the time we had together. I miss you, and I know that we are connected in God's love, even if we're a state away. We'll always be together in God's heart. Amen? I heard you say amen. We'll see you. Hi, I'm Dwayne Miller. I currently serve as the interim pastor at Zion Lutheran Church in West Union, Iowa, part of the Northeastern Iowa Synod of the ELCA. I had the honor and privilege of serving as the interim senior pastor at Trinity from July 2012 to August 2013. I enjoyed working with Pastor Dan and Pastor Kathy, the staff, and the lay leadership. I have many memories of Trinity. I'll mention just a couple. 
I recall the lively conversations we had at both the men's and women's Bible studies. And I remember the worship services in the courtyard. You were the first church I worked with that held outdoor worship with any regularity. But the thing I value most about Trinity is your relentless focus on your identity and your mission. You know who you are. You know whose you are. And you continue to be a faithful witness to God's love in Christ for your community and for the world. Congratulations on the occasion of your 150th anniversary of mission and ministry. Dear Church, happy anniversary. Happy 150th anniversary of being the church here in Mason City. Sorry that I can't be with you today in person. Uh, our grandson is being confirmed today in their church in Waseca, Minnesota. Just imagine all that has happened in 150 years uh, in and through this congregation. 150 years of serving in the name of Jesus. 150 years of caring in the name of Jesus. I'm so very thankful that 20 years ago, I was called to be your pastor. It's truly been an honor for me to, uh, to serve among you as you live out your calling as a servant church in this community and in the world. I've been privileged to work alongside of so many faithful people here uh, on our church staff and in the congregation in all the ways that people of the congregation give of yourselves and serve, serve among us. Um, I wish God's richest blessings for you and for the congregation as we move ahead day by day and year by year. Happy anniversary, in the name of Jesus, amen.